We are live. We did it. Did we do it? We're here. Great. Uh, okay, well, hi, everybody. I'm presuming that someone is there. I can't see. Um, <laughs> uh, my name is Jaden Pfeiffer, um, and I'm here uh, on behalf of uh, the Toronto Lit Up program uh, to host this talk with, with author Dakota McFadden, specifically talking about uh, the book To Know You're Alive. Um, and I'll say off the top that uh, this launch event, uh, Dakota's book launch, is part of the Toronto Lit Up program, which is designed to spotlight new works and empower Toronto writers. And the Lit Up program is funded by the Toronto Arts Council and spearheaded by the Toronto International Festival of Authors. And specifically for this event and for this book, uh, The Beguiling, the Toronto bookseller, is the official bookseller for this event. Um, so after we've talked about the book and you've learned about it and Dakota and everything that makes his brain and, and uh, drawing hand cook, when you want to buy the book, if you haven't done so already, and you live in Toronto, go to The Beguiling and purchase the book there. Um, or call them from another province and see if you can order it and have them mail it to you. I'm sure they'd be happy to do so. Um, so without uh, any further uh, fanfare, uh, I would introduce Dakota McFadden, the reason why everyone tuned in. Um, I know Dakota as an amazing uh, cartoonist, artist, author, um, thinker, uh, hilarious gentleman to talk to, uh, and, and I'm so honored <laughs> to get to hang out and do a conversation with him uh, to talk about uh, his work and himself. And uh, so Dakota, I throw to you, would you like to introduce yourself any other way than I've done so? Uh, sure, I, I think you've largely covered it. Um, yeah, I'm a Canadian cartoonist. I've been making comics for some time. Most of my work is short strips or stories. Um, I've been in Mad Magazine. I've been published by The New Yorker. I've been in The Best American Comics. Um, you know, I've, I've done a few things. And uh, part of the reason I asked you, Jaden, to be here is because we've known each other for a long time and the content, half of the content of the book is about sort of looking back into the past. Um, so I, I thought it would be interesting to talk to someone who has known me for a long time as well. So thank you for being here. Entirely my pleasure. I live in the past constantly, so. <laughs> Don't we all? I'm a great fit. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I... Uh, like, I mean, right away, I immediately have a question to ask you, but I'm, I'm going to save it. Um, I know that as part of the event tonight, you are going to do a reading from the book um, with sound scored by amazing sound artist and, and performer Daniel Maslany. Um, and I wonder if you want to lead with that, if you want to sort of present the work and then, uh, and then we can go from there. I do. However, I am seeing a text from my marketing person that she does not see anything. So we are a minute into this. We're talking to ourselves. I'm just going to message her back. This is all part of the plan. It's going to be fine. But I got a text from my mom who said she can see it here. Oh, well, if your mom can see it, then... <laughs> so who's to, who's to say? All right. I'm going to stop, like we all should, stop looking at my phone and just continue on and hope for the best. Uh, I should say that my internet is crummy. I'm in my basement. I'm learning this program and learning how to be a streamer on the fly as we go. So uh, all of our mistakes are out of the way. The rest of this presentation is going to be completely flawless. I hope that we talk about the mistakes throughout. <laughs> I think we will. Uh, okay, I'm going to switch scenes now because this is what you do when you are streaming. Uh, so they will no longer be able to see you, Jaden. And I'm seeing that my browser screen has disconnected. So I'm going to add that window back. This was all set up ahead of time. I'm not really sure why it's doing this, but this is already going very good. Yeah. Yes, I'm going to share my screen. This feels like every meeting any of us have had over the last year and a half, doesn't it? 